Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the news update here on Buzzing Patea. Uh, first, I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that's been kind enough to send me the congratulations. We reached 100,000 subscribers uh, recently last week, which was amazing. Something I never ever thought we'd do. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for all of the uh, nice uh, gestures and good wishes. It's much appreciated and uh, onwards we shall go. So what's been going on here in the news at the moment? What's happening this week? What parts of the minutes are coming up? Well, as it goes with no surprise, uh, we've had a lot of rain there, a huge amount of rain, and we've got more to come. We are now entering really into what we can definitely call the rainy season. Uh, but it says here in the Pattaya Mail, heavy rain warned in Pattaya and eastern Thailand. So if you're coming out right now, don't panic, guys. Don't worry. Uh, yes, we do have a lot of rain uh, heading our way, and it is raining almost every day at the moment. Uh, however, the rain is very uh, uh, very small. It's just like a little bit of time, maybe an hour, maybe half an hour, maybe two hours. Uh, so there's nothing really to worry about too much. Uh, but you are going to experience the rain if you come out here at the moment. It uh, goes on to say here, the Meteorological Department has issued a warning about heavy rainfall in Pattaya, and in certain areas of eastern Thailand, which could lead to flash floods and forest runoffs. So what forest runoff is. Uh, the department also noted that the upper Andaman Sea will experience moderate winds with waves reaching one to two metres high, perfect if you're a surfboarder, I guess, uh, with areas with thunderstorms may see waves exceeding two metres. So two metres, what's that? That's uh, six foot, six, seven foot. Yeah, definitely. Well, Luckily, I'm not into uh, surfing and all that stuff, so it doesn't really affect me. But yeah, watch this space, guys. But if you all come out, yeah, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Let it. Don't let it bother you. Don't let it worry you. At the end of the day, it doesn't rain inside the bars or at your hotel room. You know, it's it's just one of those things. Uh, but come out, guys. You still have a good time, and it doesn't rain all day. Very, very rare. Uh, it normally, just rains for an hour or so, and then it's gone within an hour. You wouldn't even know it's raining. So yeah, all good. Having said that, watch this space. Um, soy chai poo, soy pa, as we call it, with all the big holes. Uh, they're coming out soon to do uh, the road. They're going to redo the whole road for us. So let's see. Maybe you won't have these big puddles that we get when it rains. When it rains here, we get loads of puddles. And then all of a sudden, like, you put your foot in there. You how deep is it? And suddenly, you're like, t you know, six inches, 10, 12 inches deep, which is quite, uh, can be quite off-balancing. Anyway, so there we are. So at the moment, it's raining. Uh, now, not quite sure what goes on here, but it says here, distraught Japanese rams car into Patea Go-Go Bar, smashing vehicles in its path. Uh, it goes on to say that uh, a Japanese tourist caused extensive damage by ramming his car into a go go bar and then running into vehicles and property along Soibakao Central Patea on the evening of July the 10th, just gone. It says the scene in front of the go go bar was one of turmoil with overturned tables, chairs, and motorcycles scattered across the area. Uh, Yoshi Yoshiyuki Yamaguchi, 60 years old, driving a white tour to Atlantis, also wreaked havoc along Soibakao from South Patea, crashing into several vehicles along the way. So basically, he had a, a ding dong with his missus who worked in one of the go go bars down here. And uh, so, yeah, he, he was very upset about it. So he decided to take matters in his own hand. And uh, it says here, Sompon suffered m minor injuries requiring six stitches on his finger and some scrapes. The pursuit ended when Yama uh, Yamaguchi crashed into the back of a tour bus, immobilizing his vehicle. Security guards seized the keys and pulled him from the car, at which point Yamaguchi apologized profusely. Uh, some porn noted that Yamaguchi did not appear drunk, but seemed to be under the influence of drugs. So, yeah, I don't know what happened with that one, where it's going to go. But, yeah, so clearly uh, he, he was a bit upset with her. You know, it, it's a difficult one, really, because at the end of the day, you know, when you start getting involved with the girls that work in these, in these bars, and listen, I've got all the most, I've got the utmost respect for these girls. You've got to remember it's a bit of a game. And when I say it's a bit of a game in terms of the fact that they heard so many sub stories, so many different, oh, I do this, I'm this, I'm that. There's a lot of uh, misleading information shared both ways between the customer to the girl and to the girl to the customer. You know, I've only just started working only one day and she's probably been here two years. But the thing is, is, you know, try not to get too emotionally attached. I know it's difficult. I know it's easier said than done. But at the end of the day, you know, obviously you're surrounded by beautiful women here. But remember the scenario in which you're meeting them. You know, and I wish every person here, every girl here, they're only here because they get very little support if they've got a children. So they have to come down here to work. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, just... Just try and keep your wits about you. If you do start seeing a girl and you start to become a bit more serious, so please, just for your own sanity, you know, just try and keep it as real as possible without, you know, putting yourself into any situation you think later on might come back and bite you on the backside. I had it. You know, I remember when I first came out here and uh, I met Apond and, yeah, crazy, crazy. She she worked in the room of the old beer bar complex before Walking Street. Uh, by the Patea Beer Garden, and when it was a big beer with a boxing ring, where she had a, uh, she worked in the bar right near the ring, and uh, yeah, wow, you know, we spent some time together. Next day, she's outside my hotel. I'm like, whoa, hold on, like, I'll come down and see you later. So I went down, and that night she'd gone off with a different customer. No dramas, okay. So I took another girl from the same bar. Big mistake, uh -uh. but I was a newbie. 
And uh, yeah, so uh, that didn't go down well to the point when I went back the next day with said same girl. The uh, the, the girl that I saw originally up on uh, was uh, very un unhappy and uh, decided to throw a glass at me and go ballistic. So yeah, it was a welcome to Thailand, welcome to Pattaya experience. Who's had that? There's a good question. Just drop your comments down below, guys, if you've had a ser similar scenario to what I've had where it's all kicked off and you're like, wow, what's all that about without really experiencing or knowing what was happening? Now, uh, Big C. Big C's on the market at the moment. says, uh, discover a taste of the UK at Big C South Patea. They've now put in some expat food. It says, hello, expats and food enthusiasts. If you've been craving the f uh, familiar flavors of the UK, while living in Pattaya, we have excited to issue Big C in South Pattaya on Sukhumvit. Pattaya Diet now features an incredible selection of UK products, bringing the comfort and taste of home right to your doorstep. So it seems they're going to compete with the expat shops. I don't know what the prices are. I'm going to go and find out. I'm going to see how they compare. Uh, we do have a lot of extensive expat shops here. So if you are craving uh, food from back home, generally speaking, a lot of these places will have something very close, if not what you're looking for. Um... But they're quite expensive. I say they're expensive. I mean, obviously, they've got to pay the import duties and all the rest of it. So it is, it is relative to what they have to pay. But the, the, the point being is that the uh, expat food here, <clears throat> if you want expat food, it can be quite uh, quite expensive. I mean, it's more expensive than back home. So I don't know what their price is going to be like. I don't know how that's going to go. I guess if this one is a success, maybe they'll just filter it out through all the uh, big C shops, which would be great news if they do. It just gives you more options. Uh, but if you are looking for expat food shops, there's plenty dying around here. You can't miss them. There's loads here. So, yeah, let's see how that pans out. I'm not really sure what to expect, to be honest. But it's uh, for me, I don't really eat a lot of uh, my old like, you know, cereals and stuff like biscuits and stuff from back home. I don't, don't really do that. But, uh, yeah, let's see. I don't know where that's going to go, but there's only one way to find out. Give it a bit of time. But if it does work, will that have a knock-on effect? Will like, the Tesco Lotus start stocking a lot more? Uh, you know, I don't know. Let's see how this one pans out. <coughs> now... Patea, tourist police volunteers now recruiting. So if you are out here and you fancy uh, being a tourist police, well, it's open for uh, opportunities now, guys. It's there. It says here, applicant qualifications are preliminary. Age, not less than 20 years. Tick. Be a person of Thai nationality or a foreigner who has legally entered the kingdom. There is at least a one-year visa for foreigners. Tick. Have a normal dom uh, domasa domicile or place of residence in the potato tourist police station area tick not a person lacking good morals or behavior <laughs> that should be suspected of being related to drugs well i don't do drugs lacking not not a person lacking in good morals well, my morals are good so i'm okay with that be behavior should be suspect suspect of being related to drugs well i don't do drugs so that's fine uh, documents for application you need a copy of your id card a copy of your passport a copy of your house registration Two one-inch photos, white background, straight face. A copy of documents showing educational qualifications, training, special abilities, if any. I don't have any qualifications. Uh, foreigners, certificate of conduct from the embassy. Now, I don't know what that is. I've not, not experienced that, so I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, the point is, uh, if you are if you are considering something like this, maybe you're living here and you think, you know, I want something to do, I'm a bit bored. Because when you live here, uh, you do need something to occupy. So I'm not saying be, become a tourist police, but I'm just saying you need something to occupy your mind. Otherwise, you will go nuts. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you have to have something to keep yourself occupied. The last thing you want to do is spend your whole day uh, sitting in bars because it's just going to end uh, badly. So you do need something. And maybe this is something that you might be uh, involved in. You know, at the end of the day, you might be a, a policeman back home or worked in the in the uh, the forces back home coming out here to live so it might be something that you know will we'll tick your box and we'll, we'll go down the route that you're kind of thinking of so yeah if you are thinking about being a tourist policeman there you go there's your opportunity uh yeah there's a uh, where are we uh does that get get in touch uh yeah right there you go so application period july the 5th to the 15th uh, end at 6 p.m then they're doing interviews uh, results announced volunteer training probation period and new volunteer announcement first week of december there we are. Right. You heard it here first, guys. Go down there and see what it's all about. Uh, coming up, Sirajar to host a spectacular lighting illumination event, the Magical Island from July the 20th to the 28th. Uh, it says here, on July the 5th, 2024, Mr. Chaipun Payampurat, Deputy Governor of Chomburi Province, presides over a meeting to prepare for the Fijiji Chomburi, the lighting illumination, the Magical Island. Uh, event to promote tourism in Sirachar. I've been to Sirachar a few times. Sirachar's all right. It's just up the road. It's all right. It's decent. And uh, it's worth, worth a view. You know, sometimes people come in, they kind of like immerse themselves in the same same scenario day in, day out. 
they don't really change a lot. They just stick to what their routine is. You know, it doesn't hurt to break the routine and go and try something different. There's a lot around here that people don't realize that maybe they just overlook. But at the end of the day, if you know, just jump in a bolt taxi and say, right, take me to here or take me to there. Cost your pennies and it gets you somewhere out of the city. And all of a sudden you think, wow, you know, I never knew this place was here. This is actually quite nice. But Sierra it's all right. It's all right. It's good. Coming up, uh, Patea to host the Thailand Beach Soccer Championship 2024. Uh, it says uh, Patea is gearing up to host the Thailand Beach Soccer Championship 2024, which will take place from July the 27th to September the 28th, 2024, on Jongjin Beach in front of the Now Hotel. I've seen some of these beach footballs. They're really good. I mean, to be fair to the players, fair play to that because it's grinding. You know, but you imagine you're seeing enough running around on the park uh, in terms of like getting stability and getting your footing. It's demanding, obviously, physically. Uh, but you imagine trying it on sand where you're just constantly sinking into the sand. You're not, you're not really getting that, that traction, that grip. So, yeah, they, they're fair play to them. Uh, it says the championship is a joint effort between Patea City and the Football Association of Thailand, which aims to promote sports, tourism and stimulate the local economy. The event also aims to enhance Patea's reputation as a sports, tourism destination. Patea as a sports, tourism destination. Mm. OK, OK. I mean, well, yeah, let's see. I mean... When I think about it, you know, you've got uh, you've got plenty of football up on Soy Siam Country. You've got K Stadium just around the corner on uh, on Padia Klang. Uh, they're they're two venues that you can go and play football in. Um, obviously, we've got the Patea Dolphins that play here. Uh, the football team. There are some table tennis venues and some uh, tennis venues. Tennis is down in Sukhumvit. Can't think of the name of the hotel now. There's a hotel that's got about ten courts. So you can go and play tennis. I mean, there is quite a lot here in terms of sport. Obviously, the water sports and stuff like that. There's plenty of that. Um, but yeah, well, let's see. Let's see how it gets on. But the good thing is that they're going to do it, which is nice. It brings something different to the uh, city. So what's coming up this week? Well, don't forget today, later on, we've got our Monday meetup. Uh, come down here at the Buzzing Lounge. Be here for three o'clock. Uh, three o'clock, we're going to take you off to various different venues. Some you may not have been to, so it'd be a nice experience for you. Some that you might like and you want to go back to, in which case we'll go. But it's also a really good way to meet new friends, meet new contacts. You know, when you come out, particularly if you're traveling alone, you know, sometimes it's a bit boring. You wander around on your Jack Jones. You want to maybe make some acquaintances and think, you know, this guy, this guy's decent. He's from similar interest to me or whatever. So come up, come and join us three o'clock here at the Buzzing Lounge in Soy Chaya Poon. Also today, later on this afternoon, I'd say this evening, seven o'clock is the Monday Expats Seven Aside Football. Remember I said about the uh, uh, Planet Football? Planet Football is on Soy Siam Country. Go up there over the Chicken Crossroads. Keep going about another 150 metres. On the left-hand side, there's a purpose-built two football pitches uh, with a stadium, etc. Go there, guys, and uh, get yourself running around and burn up some calories. Ready for later on when you go out in the evening and get your, get your beers in. You, you burn those. Uh, Wednesday, you've got the Barbie party at the Butterfly Bar down in Patea Soy 6. Went down the other day. I've got to say, it was quite uh, interesting. The very... Very strange. I had a really weird experience in terms of that. When I went down, I went down with a couple of friends that came up from Wahin. And, you know, we had a good time, we had a good time. The one thing I don't like is the bell ring. Not the bell ring you're thinking of where the bell ring and you bowl the, all the people to drink. Not that one. What happens is you sit down in the bar and the mamasan will come up and ring a bell. And all the girls line up in front of you, which is a little bit pressurizing, meaning, you know, you're sitting there. For me, it doesn't bother me. I'm like, I'm okay, thank you. I don't, I'm just going to have a beer, no worries. And my friends were the same. But, some people get quite intimidated by it. And of course, all the girls are lining up. They're all looking at you and you're like, oh man, how do I say no? And then you've got to pick one of the girls that you like. I don't know, you know, obviously it must work. They wouldn't do it otherwise. Uh, but for me, I just thought it was a little bit mechanical, a little bit non-personal. You know, for me, I personally, the way I view it is if the girl was interested in the first place, well, she'd follow you in. So for the fact that the boss or the mama said, as you want to call it, um, has now said, right, now you've got to line up and now you've got to look at the customer and now you're going to smile because the customer won't want to sit with you. My thoughts are, well, if, if uh, you know, normally when you go down to Soy 6, obviously all the girls are outside. So it gives you an instant opportunity to sort of look and smile. Oh, yeah, hi, yeah come on, I'll get you a drink. Rather than be under this pressure of like, oh, look at all the girls now. They're waiting for you to choose one. I don't know. But uh, anyway, you know, each their own. I'm not criticizing. It's just a system that, for me, doesn't really float my boat. But anyway, uh, Barbie Bay <coughs> down the Butterfly Bar starts at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday the 17th of July. Go down there, guys. If that's your thing, go check it out. Have a wander around. Have a wander around. It's busy. Busy down there. Uh, now, if you're into your rugby, uh, the Patea Panthers Rugby Football Club do a women's a mixed and men's team touch union league tag. Uh, that's up at the uh, Planet Football, like I said to you before, we're on Soy Siam Country. That's on Thursday, 
That's at uh, 7.15 until quarter to nine. So if you want to get some exercising, go up there, guys. It's touch, touch uh, rugby. Now, it's a nice you know, nice uh, venue. It's a good good facilities up there to give them their credit. And uh, yeah, go if that's your thing. But yeah, the Patea Panthers Rugby Football Club are available. And that is from 7.15 if that is your thing. Go check it out. Uh, back to Soy 6 on Friday. Friday the 19th of July. This one starts at 4 o'clock. It's Ying's birthday party. Uh, Utopia Bar Soy 6. The thing is, right, down... The thing is, down there, sorry, my computer beeped for me. Uh, in in uh, in Soy Six, there's got to be at least at least six, seven hundred girls. Got to be. So inevitably, there's going to be a birthday every day. And let, let's be honest, some someone somewhere is going to have a birthday. But uh, yeah, go down and celebrate Ying's birthday party four o'clock. That is at the Utopia Bar again in Soy Six. So have a look at that one, guys, if that's your thing. Uh, at the Pullman, Pullman Potato Hotel G, uh, you've got the ESB Sundowners, which is a joint chamber, ESB Sundowners, hosted by Aust Cham. Uh, they've got their meeting here. Uh, it says here, the Australian Thai Chamber of Commerce, in, collaborate, in collaboration with the American Chamber of Commerce in Thailand, British Chamber of Commerce, Belgium, Luxembourg, oh, it goes on and on. And on. Uh, this month, our esteemed lineup of corporate sponsors features NS Bluescape and WHA Group. Join us to explore and learn more about our sponsors and don't miss the opportunity to gain insights into their thoughts and perspectives during the member briefing sessions preceding the Sundowners. If that's your thing, Pullman G is nice. Pullman G is a nice, it's up in Naklua. Uh, it's a nice hotel. Go have a look at that one, guys, if that is your thing. Don't forget as well, Friday, we've got our Friday meetup here at the Buzzing Lounge. Be here for three o'clock in the afternoon. Same format as Monday. We'll take you off to different venues, maybe something you've never been to before. It gives you a chance to explore these different places. And uh, also, like, you know, likewise, you can meet other like-minded people. But yeah, come down here to the Buzzing Lounge at uh, 3 o'clock and meet up here. And we'll go off and take you around the city, show you what's going on. And lastly, Sunday. Sunday, on Sunday, the 21st of July, from 9 o'clock in the morning through to midday, uh, you've got baseball up at Horseshoe Point. Now, Horseshoe Point is around Mapachan Lake. Uh, you need to get a taxi there. It's a, it's a reasonable distance. Not too far, but you certainly couldn't walk it in a million years. Um, but yeah, they've got their baseball. So the Patea Dolphins baseball team are doing their training. If you're into baseball and you fancy uh, going up there and trying something different, you know, go up there and have a go, guys. You never know. You might be decent. And uh, it's just another way of breaking up the, the mundane, oh, let's go down the bar, let's go and eat, let's go down the bar, let's go and eat, all that kind of stuff. Get you out there and have a wander around and see what's going on on the baseball on the baseball pitch. But, yeah, I've never played baseball. I played rounders. played rounders when I was a kid, but never played baseball. So, I don't know. Maybe I've... I don't know. When I watch it on the TV, I think, sod that. You know, they're throwing that ball at some rate and they bend it and they curve it all oh, now. I wouldn't be doing any of that. I'll be like, no, nah, I'm out, mate. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. I'm job done. All right, there we are. That's it for this week. Uh, like always, I say, guys, if you've got any events coming up or anything you want me to shout out, please email me, 247pate at gmail.com. Please let me know, and I will share it for you. I will put it out there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. It's just great to have the information coming in so I can share that likewise back with you guys. So if you have got anything or you know anybody uh, that's, that's got a bar or anything like that, you know, get them to get in touch, guys. Like I say, it doesn't cost you a single penny. I just want to share what's going on here in our wonderful city of Pattaya. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, have a look in our Discord. Discord is over 20,000 members. It's packed full of information, things like we're talking about today. So have a look in Discord. There's a link in the description of the video. It's totally free. Get in there, guys. And if you are interested in what's going on here at night time, have a look at our Instagram account, Buzzing Pattaya. Uh, that again, all the links are in the description. That's all about nighttime short clips of videos of like Soy 6, Soy 7, Soy 8, uh, Beach Road, Walking Street, all the kind of things that you're looking for. So have a look at that. Please join us on there. Please join us on there. Uh, we've got TikTok. TikTok's about daytime stuff, uh, bars, restaurants, beaches, uh, things to do, tourist attractions, day-to-day -day life. So have a look on TikTok. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please become a member here on YouTube. And uh, your support is much appreciated. Once I see you as a member, ping me an email, and I will then send you access to our members only Discord group. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much indeed for watching, guys. And please, as always, wherever you're in the world, stay safe.